Hey everyone, today we will be explaining about the comic book origins of Captain Marvel. So before we get into it, I'll be speaking more of Carol Danvers Captain Marvel because I know there are other characters that has done the identity of Captain Marvel but today we're just going to talk about Carol Danvers and because she is having her own movie in the MCU and before she became Captain Marvel, she became Miss Marvel so I will dive into that also. So for Carol Danvers, she first appeared in Marvel Superheroes issue 13 in March of 1968. She then became Captain Marvel in Captain Marvel issue 1 in 2012. She was created by writer Roy Thomas and artist Jean Collin, where she was introduced as a strong woman who fought against gender typing in the US Air Force, which eventually led her to be an officer there. She then became a CIA agent in NASA security. While at NASA is where she met and worked with Dr. Philip Lawson, who was a secret Kree agent known as Marvel, also known as the first Captain Marvel. So where did Carol Danvers actually get her power from? So basically what happened was there was this device called the Psych Megatron which actually exploded and who saved her from the explosion was none other than Captain Marvel. He actually shielded her with his own body to actually save her. Therefore, due to this, Carol Danvers actually absorbed Captain Marvel or, you know, Marvel's genetic template into her, which really, you know, made her a human and Kree hybrid, which is insane, I guess. She then realized that her powers are like Marvel, so, you know, in the end, she took out the mental as Miss Marvel. Because why not? Is it just me or is it weird that? A lot of comic book characters gain their powers from explosions. Am I the only one that has that that thinking right now? Because a lot, really a lot of characters have their powers from explosions. I just don't get it why. And from there we have the very first issue of Miss Marvel, also known as Miss Marvel Issue 1, which was published in 1977, which only lasted only for 23 issues altogether. So there, my friends, is a brief summary or, you know, a short explanation of the comic book origins of Miss Marvel. So now let us go through how she became the one and only Captain Marvel. So before I proceed, I don't want you guys to get confused between Marvel and Carol Danvers. So from now on, I'm going to call Carol Danvers Captain Marvel. No more Miss Marvel, okay? So in Captain Marvel issue 1 in 2012, what happened was there was a battle with Absorbing Man. And Captain Marvel actually had a new costume. And after the battle with Absorbing Man, Captain America Steve Rogers was like, you know, why not have a name change? I mean, it's the time is right, you have a new costume. So he suggested Carol Danvers, you know, why not be Captain Marvel? At first, Carol Danvers was like, nah, you know, she should not. And she was actually thinking about the name change. She was flying around Earth's atmosphere while thinking about the name change. Yes, flying around Earth's atmosphere thinking about a name change. Like, that doesn't get any cooler, guys. Thus, while flying around Earth's atmosphere and thinking about a name change, she actually thought of a mentor and a fellow pilot which actually died in the name of Helen Cobb. Helen Cobb actually stressed the idea of being the best you can be and not to let anything hold you back. And from there, she took on the role of Captain Marvel and which is also in honor of her boyfriend, Marvel. And what happened to the mantle of Miss Marvel, you may ask? It was then passed down to Kamala Khan and I won't go a lot into her but she is a really awesome character too and maybe one day I'll be doing a history of episode or comic book origins episode for Kamala Khan. So now let's get into the special abilities and powers of Captain Marvel. She has the usual things like superhuman strength, stamina, agility and super speed. Those are all normal but her powers are usually all from the cosmic side of the Marvel Universe. They are usually out of space kind of powers. So she has the ability to fly, that's also normal but she has the ability to shoot photon blasts from her arms. To play it simple, she can shoot freaking lasers from her arms, okay? Energy manipulation, regeneration healing, basically a page from Deadpool's and Wolverine's book. Danger sense, something like Spidey sense, but she calls it danger sense. She has cosmic awareness and also my favorite, energy absorption. So what she do with energy absorption is that she'll absorb energy, she'll use the energy that she absorbs, augment it, and use it to increase her own powers. 
Okay, that is insane. But not only that, she has binary powers. Binary powers to me personally is basically her own Super Saiyan mode for Captain Marvel. So how she got it is she got it after torture and experimentation done by the brute race. And after all that, her powers actually transformed beyond anything anyone expected as she became a being of pure energy. She basically became a singular living star powered through a cosmic connection to a quantum singularity which is located on the other end of the universe within an entirely separate reality. <sighs> so at the peak of her binary powers, she can actually have absolute force manipulation. What it does is basically she stores limitless raw energy where she can tap at any purpose she wanted. So basically, she can use raw energy at any time she wants. And she's been described as a living star. You know, those things that Superman actually go to to actually get energy from? Yeah, she is that thing. And there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, history of episode for Captain Marvel. I'm so sorry there is no intro or outro. I'm still working on the intros and outros. Yeah, and do give it a like, thumbs up if you enjoyed the history of the episode and do subscribe to the YouTube channel because we are going to do more and follow us on Instagram at comics.sg. I'll see you guys.